Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about File Browser. So this is again my standard instance of TrueNOS, and I'm not going to go through Docker, Jupyter, Retainer on this one. We're just going to go right through the uh, normal apps, and you can see I've already been playing with it. Usually you'll come over here and see this. So it'll be File Browser, and we come here. File Browser, so we're going to hit Install. I'm going to change a few things in this besides the default. So over here, usually I run everything as apps. Um, this would be the one of the only times I ever run as root. And the reason for that is when using file browser, I wanted to access all my files. And some of these things have different permissions on different data sets. Instead of me having to add the permission to do this to every single data set I have, I just run it as root. This way I don't have to mess with any of the permissions on, across all my data sets. And if I create new data sets or new, new directories later, I don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to change this to... root and root. Okay, so web UI port I'm not going to mess with. That's fine. I'm actually also not going to do a host path configuration here. And the reason for this is because file browser isn't actually saving anything. It's basically just a web front that lets me manipulate my file storage in the back end. So in order to do that, I do have to pass my files into it. This is going to be very simple. I'm just going to pass my whole pool into it. So in this case, my tank directory. This is where all of my files are, obviously, because I only have one pool. If you have more than one pool, you can pass more than one directory in there. Um, but because I only have one pool here, my tank pool, I'm going to pass it all as slash tank. Um, it doesn't need any more resources, so I'm just going to hit install. Once this is running, we're going to see what it does. Now, again, file browser, it, this is just for people who don't want to have to deal with the command line as often. This gives you just a little bit more of uh, a pretty picture in the front end to be able to manage files. So let's jump into the web UI. Uh, the username is admin. The password is admin by default. You can go in here and create some new users later. You can see that in your settings. Um, there should be user management. So you can create a new user here if you'd like to. There's some stuff here going on. We're going to look at all this stuff later. So share management. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that we're not going to really get to because I'm not going to cover that. What I'm going to do today is I'm basically going to show you just how to use your use this with your files. So this is my tank pool. As you can see, I'm going to double click to go into it. And you can see these are all my directories. I'm going to change this so it's more of a list like that. Here we go. So these are the four directories I have in tanks. So you'll see that over here, configs, configs, backup, that, media, and stacks. So let's say I wanted to, I was just messing with my backups. So I can come in here and I can actually delete this stuff. So this is all your functionalities on top. So we can download something, we can upload something, we can get info on this, select multiple. So let's come over here and let's edit and we're actually delete this file folder. So this is Jellyfin and my configs backup. Oh, that didn't work. Um, let's try something else. Backups, will this work? So usually this is the reason I run it as root, but it's fine. This might be in use by other data sets right now. Uh, what we can do is we can make some different stuff. So in this case, we can create new directories. Let's create a new folder here. I'm gonna call this test directory, All right? And there we go. We can put a new file in here. New file is gonna be test.txt. And there it is, here is my text. And we're going to save that. Okay. We can come out of here. So here we are. So now we come up here. Let's click out and click back in again. There we go. You'll notice you don't see that here because these are all um, data sets, which are not the same as directories. But if I come in here to my shell, which is, again, this is the point of file browser. I don't have to mess with my shell. Here's my test DIR. And here's what's in my... That. There we go. There we go. Here's my text. So you can see here that all that fu function just perfectly. So we're going to come out here and I'm going to actually remove this. My right click doesn't work. You have to use the buttons for everything. So I'm going to delete that. There we go. Now I come back out here. Okay. Okay. There we go. We're back to normal. So you can see that this is just a nice little front end way to um, manage some files in the back end to edit some stuff. I wanted to come into my configs, for example. This is a really popular thing to do over here into my qubit, qubit torrent. 
Uh, for example, if I wanted to mess with my cubic torque conf, or if I wanted to come in here and insert a wire guard file, uh, I can do all kinds of things like that. So let's come out of here, actually, because let's go into my stacks directory. Let's come back to home, stacks, R stack, configs, qubit. Here's my wire guard. So this is exactly where I would dump my wire guard config uh, for those guys that are doing that. So again, this is just, some people find this easier than command line for obvious reasons, but um, yes, yeah, so let's come into my can. This is where my key goes. This is where I can paste, paste, wire guard key here. And again, we can use regular paste commands. We don't have to know any command line to do all that stuff. Save it and exit, and there it is. So this is just a quick um, little front end called file browser. You can do a lot more with this, but I just wanted to give a quick kind of crash course today for those guys who are not just huge fans of command line um you can do some stuff in here it's limited but it's still possible so if you wanted to kind of get used to this just for some quick and dirty just editing instead of having to go through command line you guys can do that